Martha Stewart had this thing and she said, you should do a thankful book. So every year when everybody comes to my house, the book is out, right? And we have to write something we're thankful for. And even when Tyler was three, my son, somebody would write for him what he'd be thankful for. Some are very funny. Some people aren't with us anymore, so it makes it even more special. We have their handwriting and their notes, and we even started a second one. Forgot about my thankful book. That's my most treat, prized possession. You might want to start um, something like this in your family because you'll have it for generations. And just seeing that what people, and it was only positive, so you couldn't say anything no, no, negative. Yeah, so yeah, this sure. is all good. <laughs> so if we have grumpy people come, it's always good to have them lifted. She would write, you know what you wrote. You always wrote, you were so thankful to be with your family. So nice. So nice, yeah. Yeah. And we'd write in the book, and some people were very funny. They were silly in theirs. But, um, we always had a wonderful time, and she loved the food. She loved cooking the food that we made, too, because we kept the traditions, right? We always had artichokes. Yeah. We always had artichokes, and we always had... Remember when I used to serve the soup first? I'd serve the tortellini and the chicken broth, and Dad wouldn't eat anything else. I said, that's it. We can't have this next year. Remember? <laughs> he was so fresh. But didn't you used to serve pasta on Thanksgiving, too? Like ravioli or something? Yeah. Yeah. We always had pasta with anything.